Hi everyone, so I'm going to teach you a new sound today, uh, but before I do, I think it would be a good idea to recap a few of the sounds that we've learned in the past. So hopefully you recognise a few of these sounds already. I'll give you a second to have a look. Maybe you could say any of the sounds that you recognise. Okay, I'm going to go through them now. S, A, T, P, I, N, M, D, G, O, K, and K. These two both make the same sound, K and K. I'm going to point to one now and you need to tell me what sound it makes. Mmm. What about this one? S. Do you know this one? P, P. What about this one? G. Do you know this one? M. Mm. How about this one? K. This one? O. This one? E. Mm. How about this one? D. Do you know what sound this one makes? Ah, well done. Okay, now I'm going to say the sounds and you've got to try to point to them. Which one is M? Mm? Which one is P? Which one is N? Mm? Which one is K? Which is the other K? Can you see A? Ah? Can you see S? Can you see E? Can you see D? Where's G? Where's A? Where's O? Where's P? And show me T. Well done, that was really good. So now that we've revised some of the sounds that we already know, I'm going to introduce you to a new sound. You might have seen this sound before, but you might not have. It's a sound that has two letters in it. These are the two letters that make the sound. We've got an S and an H. Now we know that when they're on their own, they make a sound. This one makes a S sound, and this one makes a H sound. But when we put them together, they make a different sound. When we have two letters like this making one sound, we call it a digraph. It's a big word, a digraph. This is a digraph. When these two are together, they say, shh. Can you make that sound? Shh. Well done. So these two letters together make shh. Now I like to remember it because I always think that an S looks a little bit like a snake, like slithering snake. And I think that the looks a little bit like a horse, doesn't it? Look, if this is its head, its leg, its body. So there's a snake and a horse and they're facing each other. And the snake is making a lot of noise. He's saying, s, 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 and the horse is getting really fed up. So the horse turns around and looks at the snake and says, shh. So when I see these two, I try to remember that horse who's getting really fed up with the snake. And he has to say to him, shh. Can you do it again? Well done, let's write it down. Let's write it on a board. Do you remember which two letters make shh? We had an S and an H. S and an H together make the sound shh. Two letters making one sound shh. Should we have a look at some words with this new sound in? Okay, I'm going to show you some words now that have the new sound in. This is a ship. Ship. Can you hear the sh? Ship. I can see the sh as well. Ship. This one is a shirt. A shirt. There's a shirt. Then I've got a sheet. Maybe there are some very nice bed sheets there. I've got a sheep, 
I've got a shark. I've got some shapes. I've got a shell. I've got a shop. And I've got a shoe. Could you hear that all of those words began with the sh sound? Okay, now it's time for us to write some words with the sh sound. And I'm going to ask you to read the words that I write. So the first word I'm going to write what was this sound again? Do you remember these two letters together? They make the sound sh. So we've got sh op. Shop. Let's try another one. Sh a t. Shut. Let's try another one. Now these two letters are the same and when they're together they're also a digraph. They just make one sound together, they just make the sound oo. So we've got sh e o sh e o sh e o shell. Now you might remember that we learned this sound on a Zoom call the other day. So if you were there, you might remember that this is the E sound. So we've got sh, e, p, sheep. And we could change this letter to make a different word. Sh, e, t, sheet. So the sound sh, can be at the beginning of a word but it can also appear at the end of a word so let's try a few words now that have sh at the end of them let's start with this one f -i -sh. fish can you hear how the sh is at the end of fish fish Let's try another one. Brr, ah, sh, rush, rush. That's got sh at the end. I'm going to try a trickier one now. This one's got four sounds in it. Ush, ush. Flush, 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 like when you flush the toilet. <laughs> and let's try one more word. Let's try this one. W -i -sh. Wish. So this sh sound can appear in all different places in a word, but whenever you see an S and an H, these two letters together, you know that they're making the sound sh. Just remember that horse getting really cross with that snake and telling him to shh. So maybe now you can have a go at reading some shh words at home. If you don't have letters like me for building words, you can just write them down or ask an adult to write them down for you. Um, also remember to look out on signs and in books and on packets for the shh sound and see how many times you can spot it. Good luck! Mm -hmm.